All right, what's up guys? It's your boy, Dr. Squirrel, and today we're going to do some Guild Wars against DXTX. Um, pretty close match. I think we have a mild lead though, and today we have something special because it's pretty rare that Guild Wars falls on a day where it's also free on equip event, and I'm pretty confident we're going to win. So I'm going to do this video more about experimenting rather than winning. And of course, if you watch my last summon video, you know that I got Oxlots. And we're going to debut him today and see why he is so freaking rigged. So we're going to switch up these teams here. And for this one, I mean, this is literally all I'm going to do. So I'll take these guys out. And, uh... Oh, Judge Kisei's up here. We're gonna be a little, little cocky here. We're, we're gonna two-man this. I changed my Judge Kisei's gear a little bit because as you know, I normally don't run her with 100% crit because of Tywin. With Oxlots, I do need 100% crit on Judge Kisei. So she's actually a little weaker than she used to be, but should still hit more than hard enough. For the second team, I mean, uh, what do we wanna do here? I mean, I love my man Ken, I never really use him. How about some Champion Zerato? And who else do I not usually use all that much? Uh, hmm. Maybe Fallen Cecilia. We'll do this kind of triple bruiser comp. And uh, this team actually doesn't have a good answer to K-Ron, but whatever, he's level 50. So let's see if this works. Let's just, oh, it says my team's not even optimized for attack. But we don't care, because we're going man mode. We have Oxlots. This is our Oxlots debut. And let's see if he has what it takes. So Oxlots has the broken ass ability to push anyone all the way to the front. He's not even Max Molad. And we just do this. And uh, game over. And think about it. I could do this and still have an entire third person to do whatever they want. Like... Oxlots is a straight up ridiculous. Now let's see what we do here. So let's just go ahead and uh, put up our S3. Uh, Kron almost died to the what the hell to the freaking uh, FCC S3 there. Uh, who's the damage threat here? Let's go ahead and beat on this Kron a little bit. Looks like he's going for Ken. I don't even know how much damage he does because of skill nullifier. Don't waste my and then we'll use a little bit of Champ Zerato. Get some defense breaks going on. We get it on the carrot. DN dispels. Alright, she got the uh, defense break instead of weakened attack. And let's see if he burns Cesarato. He does. Let's give him right back. So now they're burning. Let's go ahead and finish off this Kron, stop his damage. Oh no, he has Immortal, so let's switch to Carrot here. Goes on the Ken because she's water. This Kron's not very strong and it's gonna send all that right back to him. We don't even have to touch him because he's going to burn to death. Let's finish off this DN, get rid of all her healing abilities. Boop, boop. Get punched by fire, Ken. Carrot does her little thing, and she's going to die in short order here. Oh man, that is a thick barrier. But she's about to get highlight reeled. Whap. Pass the limit. And Carrot stuns though. So alright, that guy was pretty freaking weak. I mean, you can't really fault anyone for dying to Oxlots, but my second team was pretty bad, to be honest. Um, let's see what else we got here. So I can't hit this yet, but... Uh, yeah, kind of a weird defense. I'll probably hit this guy. Oh, he has a successful defense against someone. So they are all 60s. I don't mind losing against that. Ooh, this one... The second one is actually pretty scary. The first one... I don't know. This guy's actually ranked 65, though. Looks like he does decently well. So let's 
hit this weaker guy first. What do I want to do here? Um. Hmm. We'll do that. I don't think Cesarato really has a place here. We'll judge Kisei the second one. And you know what? We're gonna bring... Do we have any light bait other than Aqu... Uh, what might work here? Should I bring Tamarin? Hmm. You know what? I'll just bring a Momo bottom. That makes no sense. I like it. Or I could bring... You know what? Fire Ken. It's two Earth there and a card. So you know what? Fire Ken will go bottom. And top... I mean, BBK is scary, so I kind of need to tank this. Maybe we'll take the top one kind of seriously. We'll bring our friend ML Ken, and ML Ken will do fine. So, all right, let's do this. I don't know how jacked that BBK is. I don't want to get one-shotted by it. You prepared for this? So let's FCC. They're slow, so they're definitely... I mean, if they're geared at all, they're definitely built really strong. All right. Let's see if we could sleep the k -Ron. Nope. Let's see. Down. Moment of truth. Boop, 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 boop. Fight me. I have no idea because of skill nullifier. K-Ron's going on ML Ken too. Everyone hates Ken's for some reason. They always go on him. Alright. That should proc immortality. Oh no. Fighter Maya is soaking it all up. No, she's not a knight, is she? She's a warrior, right? Alright. Let's kill him. BBK goes down. k -Ron still didn't proc the Immortality. No, k -Ron is kind of strong, actually. The Fighter Maya is not. That's through defense buff? What the hell? So we get the Provoke. Immortality's popped. And k -Ron's donezo here. I mean, there's nothing he could do. And next turn, he'll get whacked by FCC. So k -Ron bites the dust. And now let's see this nonsensical team. A Momo probably won't even do anything. I just. It all depends on if A card actually makes them all dodge. Oh, wait, no, I didn't bring A Momo. I brought Ken. Whatever. Alright, are you gonna dodge? Whap. Whap, whap. No dodge. They're all dead. Okay. <laughs> so Oxalot's debut is going well. I mean, this freaking. I've been wanting Oxalots for so long. I use Tywin because I don't have Oxalots. Although, honestly, I still think Tywin is better in a lot of team comps because he has the Soul Burn 100% defense break into, um, you know, Judge Kisei with the crit buff. So you can build Judge Kisei with 50% crit if you have Tywin. This one actually looks kind of scary, to be honest, guys. So Seaside is always kind of scary, but... Hmm. What do we do here? You know what? We're going to try something weird. We're going to do a little bit of this. So I'm going to aux lots, Judge Kisei, hope Judge Kisei doesn't get countered and doesn't miss on Violet. And I'm going to use Fallen Sisir to block Krau's S3. This may be a bad idea. This may be a very bad idea. But whatever, you know, we'll let them lose their debut. Top, what do we have? Should we use Cesarato? They do have a Dizzy. You know, when there's a Dizzy, you got to... Let Cesarato have his day in the sun. You know, Ken would be good bottom too because it's too Earth. I could play this a lot of different ways. You know what? We'll we'll do this. Top is fine. Bot I'm iffy about. Bot is kind of ugly, but I want to keep Oxlots in there. Um, really, I could do much safer than this, but screw it. We're not scared. We're not scared. I'm a little scared. I think that second team isn't too good against that, but whatever. Dizzy does dizzy things. And we're gonna give those debuffs right back. ML Ken is immunity, so it doesn't matter. So, no one gets debuffed at all. Oh, they actually do a decent amount of damage, so my second team might be screwed if these guys are geared. 
Luckily I have immunity on ML Ken still, so he won't get unbuffabled. Give those unbuffables right back. And we're gonna kill the Seaside first because she's the only real damage threat. Caesarado does his little magic. Go lay up. Defense break lambs, and now we punch him in the face and get that attack buff up. Alright, so I could heal here, but I'm gonna go for the Amomo highlight reel finish. Whap! Seaside bites the dust. This Dizzy is not on violin or anything. Not sure what artifact she's on yet, actually. We'll pop everyone off a little bit. Ooh, big mistake FCC, so she gets one-shotted. And Dizzy also gets one-shotted, so... Nice try, but uh, not gonna succeed against me. Now let's see the scary second team. How fast are they? So Fallen Cecilia will get her S3 up. Let's boost up Jugs and hope he doesn't Elbrish trip Jugs. Whap, wow, whap. That Charles has very low life. <laughs> Alright. Violet does not dodge anything. Well, he doesn't have Apple, but usually they're on Moonlight. Now Fallen CC does her S3 here. And the stupid AI will S3 right away. Let's watch Kraus. Oh wait! Oh wait, no! He got pushed back by Jug, so he couldn't. I'm just gonna hit him. I'm not gonna silence him yet because he still has a one turn cooldown. Man, he foiled my big brain play with that. So we're gonna boost up Jugs again. Look how short the cooldown on it. If you have Spirit's Breath and it procs, you can literally spam his S2 every turn. It is straight up broken. So let's just slaughter this crowd. He doesn't even get to S3. And bam. That's it. Game over. So, that was a nice quick little Guild Wars. Uh, got to use some new heroes there that I don't normally use. And uh, people have been asking me about the gear on my character, so I'm just going to go over a few of them real quick. Um, you can just turn the video off if you're not interested. And some of my characters have kind of weird gear on them right now because I obviously swapped some gear around. But my core heroes, I'll show you guys. So this is my Tywin. Nothing special. I just wanted high effectiveness and decent speed. And of course he's on immunity because when he wasn't, he would randomly get silenced or something or stunned. My Seaside is really weirdly built, but I like it because um, her crit damage is pretty good. Her crit chance is okay. Her attack is very low by Seaside standards, and she's slow. But the thing about my Seaside is everyone always wants to kill Seaside first. And she has 1100 defense and 17,000 life. So people always get trolled by my Seaside and RTA. Her chest is really good, and she's using that 88 hit set gear. Um, if I had better, I'd put her on immunity or something, but she's kind of a weird build. This is my Amomo build. She has a lot lower effect resist than is typical for an Amomo. With her self-memory imprint, she has like, I don't know, like 135, 140. But she has a lot of life, pretty good speed, and a lot of defense. So I think a lot of people lose to her because they end up getting stuck against my Guild Wars team trying to solo this Amomo. There's pretty much no DPS other than like a Decorv, a Crow or a Watcher Shuri that's really going to one-shot my Amomo. Charles, I don't like his gear setup at all. I mean, he kind of works crit damage too low, speed is okay, health too low, attack is acceptable, but still too low. Ideally, I'll get him to like 260 crit damage and 15k life at least. And I can live with like 80-90% crit. My Bizarre, as you can see, is stripped because Oxlot stole his gear. My Gunther work in progress. My Judge Kisei, I'm going to fix her gear right now just so you see what my normal... So right now I have with 100% crit because I was pairing her with Oxlots. But normally I am using... Um, what Who did I put it on? Ken? This thing. So this is my Judge Kisei's normal gear that I use in Arena. Almost 4k attack. Uh, next to no speed. Only 60% crit because I have C-Dom and Tywin giving crit buffs. And 308 crit damage. 
With Trico Plate, it's more like 335, 340 crit damage. So my Judge Kise is one of the hardest hitting ones out there. If you look at other videos, they're usually like 3100 attack, 250 crit damage. Mine hits hard, and I could do that because I give up on crit chance. Araminta I barely use. She's on like garbage gear, garbage gear, garbage gear. My ML Ken, uh, he's built kind of weird. His crit damage is okay. His health is higher than average. I wanted them to be tanky. Um, this helm is pretty elite. I mean, 32% crit damage on a helm. This is just the raid armor. Didn't roll decent. A lot of I'd rather have more health than defense, but it's okay. This is garbage and obvious room for improvement. I mean, the rolls are pretty good, but, you know, it's a 70. This um, passable, pretty good. I mean, it has a flat health, but it's 88 gear. And this is freaking, uh, what's it called? Abyss gear. I mean, it's okay. Uh, obviously replaceable. My FCC, I'm actually pretty pleased with her gear. 207 speed, 23,000 life, 1,600 defense. I mean, people struggle to kill her and I have her on adamant. My CDOM's gear is garbage, even though I use her anywhere. Uh, I mean, everywhere. I really need to switch her to, like, destruction set or attack set. But, you know, she does her job. She just needs to kind of soul burn and one-shot people. Ken, I need to give him his crit amulet back. His build is uh, pretty stupid, but I don't use him in PvP that much. Whoops, I exited. I mo mainly use him in PvE, and I use him for everything in PvE. I mean, Hell Raid, uh, Hunts. I even used him in Wyvern for a long time. I just recently stopped using him. I love Ken. And everyone else pretty much has complete trash gear. Like, my Vildred is on, like, garbage-ass gear. His stats are terrible by Vildred standards. Uh, my Troublemaker, I probably will end up swapping this for a health ring, but I do like how he resists everything. 19k life, he'd have 20k if he was fully awakened. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys have seen a million of my Troublemaker videos. You know what that's about. And my Oxlots, who ganked. Basar's gear, um, at least four pieces of it. With his trash gear, he's at like 219 speed. I stole Basar's gear for the purposes of this video to make him faster. But uh, yeah, I'll figure out how to use him more. I mean, right now my arena team is better off without him because Tywin brings a defense break. But I think in RTA especially, this guy will enable some cool things. Shuri, you know, I only use him for the speed imprint. He's not even triple S yet. He's double S. The N is basically on trash gear. I mean, disgusting. And Cesarado, pretty disgusting stats, pretty bad stats. So those are my characters. Um, so I hope that kind of answers some of your guys' questions about my gear and stuff and my stats. If you have any specific questions, leave them in the comment section below. And make sure you like and sub if you want to see more videos like this. Take care, guys. Peace.